Well, a six-year-old boy faces at least a year of recovery after he was severely injured when he was bitten by a neighbor's dog. Yes, the attack happened a month ago, but the family is now going to court to get that dog declared dangerous. ABC 13's Maya Shea is live at the Medical Center with a story you'll only see on 13, Maya. Six-year-old Christian Andres has been back and forth from the medical center a lot in the last month. He was in the hospital. He faced multiple surgeries, certainly has a long road ahead. Meanwhile, the neighbor who owns the dog that bit him says this whole thing was just an unfortunate accident. Six-year-old Christian Andres misses jumping on the trampoline with his cousins. On February 11th, he was attacked and bitten by a neighbor's pit bull and had to spend three weeks in the hospital undergoing multiple surgeries. He bit me on my leg in the back and the front and right here and right there and right here. The dog in question, Polo, lives a few houses down the street. Today, Polo's owner, Nate Roberts, told us it was all an accident after Polo, he says, broke his leash and ran down the street. He came from the blind side of the car or something and the dog knocked him down and grabbed him by his leg. I went down there and made the dog let go. Records show Roberts had the dog quarantined for 10 days per county regulation. The dog's now back home, but Christian's family is going to court, wanting to get Polo declared a dangerous dog and moved. Moved away from here. As far away from your house? Yeah, so it don't come like to bite my other leg. Now, the owner of Polo insists he's followed all county regulations since that biting incident. It is now in the hands of a JP judge. They'll go to a court hearing, and if the judge declares the dog dangerous, at some point the dog's owner could be forced to relocate the dog somewhere else. We're live in the medical center. Maya Shea, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Thank you so much, Maya.